Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do just like a studio vlog, what I get up to in these next few days before I have to go back to work. A couple of videos ago, you might remember that vlog that I did when we lost the power. Um, <laughs> that was crazy. But um, thank you for your, your good words. So it was all very appreciated. Power came back, as as you know, power came back and everything was well, but it was a rough couple of days, just like logistically. But we survived and I think I managed to create one of the prettiest drawing and most satisfying drawing that I've ever done so far. And I really want to create more. So we might get to create more in this vlog. I would love to. And I just want to do a couple of little drawings like that, like maybe one big one like that, but other smaller ones in that style and just explore with my style. I have started one in my sketchbook that I'm going to show you. I started it, I think, two days ago, and it's based on a picture that I took while going to work. In the summer, I have this project where I paint city landscapes in which I've really focused on the nature and I kind of put way less detail on all the man-made stuff. And the painting that you see right here, that's one that I created using that concept. But I had a limited amount of pictures and then winter came and there wasn't any more leaves and I really wanted some greenery. So I kind of put that series on hold. And uh, now it's spring, the leaves are not out yet, but I'm looking forward to continuing this series. But there was one picture that I took that I felt like it didn't work for that project, but I used it in my sketchbook in my newest style and I love it so much. I'm going to show you where we're at right now. And I wanted to talk to you about Potter's Pink. You probably can help me with that. I know that Potter's Pink is a really popular color is one of the staples in many artists' palettes. And that's why I got it, because I heard so much about it. I like it's it's a bit more mineral, it's a bit more neutral, and I feel like it's really pretty. But every time I use it in my sketchbook, I hate it. <laughs> I really dislike it. It looks cloudy. I don't know how to explain really. It's kind of the way the paint dries, it kind of clumps together and it creates this weird texture and I'm like is it because of my paper is it the this paint is it just this tube that is defective or is it because the Daniel Smith one isn't the best there's another brand that makes it better but then I tried it on a good piece of paper I had some like extra papers laying around so I decided let's Let's try it on a really good quality paper and it's much better. So I think the problem was my paper, but I'm still going to show you the difference between the two and let me know if it does the same with you. What's weird is like, I know that the paper does a big difference when you do watercolors for sure. But I use my watercolors in my mixed media sketchbooks all the time. And I never have this kind of problem where I don't like a color. Yes, maybe it's granulation is not to its full extent or like it could be prettier on better quality, but it's never ugly. But I feel like this Potter's Pink from Daniel Smith is ugly, <laughs> but not on, on good quality paper, just in my sketchbooks. Anyway, let me show you. This is the painting slash drawing that I've been working on. So it's kind of this building that's kind of been taken over by the nature. And this is why I liked it so much because there's like wheat and grass growing everywhere. I use watercolors for the background. I use watercolors for the building, for this part here. And it's really pretty, like watercolors everywhere. And then I put Potter's Pink on top of the background. So of course there's paint under the Potter's Pink, but you can see like this weird texture it's clumpy kind of, or it looks like a cloud or I don't know. It doesn't flow well like this. 
it's so weird but then i did a swatch on a good quality paper and you can see that it's much better but look at the difference do you know what could explain this if you know please tell me because i'm very curious and none of my other watercolors do that this is so strange well we can see a little bit of the kind of clumping here but here it's pretty i feel like it's kind of very granulating it's very pretty but here look at this what is that at first i thought i would just like do a pink bush like the this pink vegetation but i hated it so much that i covered it with this bright green so that's what i'm gonna do here too and always does that You know the one thing that I noticed that is pretty unfortunate? It's about my new Faber-Castell watercolor pencils that I bought lately. If you've seen my latest video, I think, that was an art haul and I, I showed you my new pencils. I just noticed that they don't fit into my pencil sharpener. I only have this one and this really big one that I use for my jumbo eyeliners. So it's pretty dirty and also it's way too big. So I have a couple of pencils that, like this one. I just can't use it anymore. Anyway, that's what I noticed. Bums me out a bit. I wanted to start a painting on this background that I created maybe a week ago. I think I have an idea of what landscape I want to paint. So I think that we're going to start working on it and I also have this page that is already prepped in my sketchbook. So I was thinking I could do something on that page too. Maybe if I need to wait for my stuff to dry on this page, then I can work on the other and like switch between the two. So I think that's what we'll do for today. But first I feel like I need to clean up a bit because I feel like everything's very cluttered. I think I'm going to take down these lights because I haven't used them in a bit and it's starting to be sunny later and later during the day. So I don't think I'm going to need them for a little bit. I used to use them a lot during the winter time because after 3 p.m. like the sun is gone. So I need lights, but I don't think I'm going to need them for the summer. Okay, let's clean up. more room in my space since I folded and put away my lights. I should have done that earlier. I haven't used them in quite a long time. But I chose my picture. This is a picture that I took two years ago, I think, when I went on vacation in Saguenay. So I really like the rock formation here. I feel like the texture is very interesting. And then you have the trees on the side, so it's a different height. And then you have the background, you have some mountains, which I might exaggerate a little bit. And you have the sky with some clouds. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the sky as of now. We'll see. I've been feeling like doing something a bit warmer these past few days, but I feel like this background... Well, it has a warm yellow. It has a warm blue also. Maybe I could go for something warmer. I think that what we'll do is that I'm going to do the rock formation in this, or maybe this one, this uh, fiery red or a mixture of those two because I can't sharpen this one, this newest one. So when I can't use it anymore, I'm going to use this one. 
And then maybe I'm going to go for something cold for the vegetation. So maybe this jade green, I think it would be nice. Or this kind of purplish blue. We'll see. Today is day two of this little vlog and I have a couple of things I want to do today. I want to work on the big painting I started yesterday. So far I have only done the sketch, a little sketch, with my fiery red watercolor pencil, which I love and I wish so much that I could sharpen it. Yesterday I started a bread, it's kind of a funky bread. A spiral bread. One part of the spiral is chocolate and the other part is an orange bread and I'm just waiting for it to rise and then I'm gonna bake it. I want to do some macaron today. It's my first time trying macaron. It's going to be a lemon and poppy seed flavor. I'm gonna go give blood today. So what I'm gonna do is work a little bit on that sketch again. Then it's going to be time to go give blood. So I'm gonna go do that. And I think I'm gonna bring this pencil or another one like this. And on my way back, I'm going to stop by a pharmacy and see if they have pencil sharpeners that are a bit bigger. I got this little pencil sharpener that has two holes, one I would say standard and a bigger one. And it fits my Faber-Castell watercolor pencils perfectly, which is such a relief. And it was less than $2, which is funny because I went on my local art shop's website yesterday, I think, and the first pencil sharpeners that they suggested cost like $34 or $35. And it didn't look to be that much more of a better quality than this. So I'm happy I got this one, it works fine.
this is the bread that I just baked. It's a chocolate and orange swirl, kind of. So you can see it here. You can see the shape. Let me show you. It smells so good. So we're just gonna wait for the bread to cool a little bit and then we're gonna have to try it. Hopefully on in the inside we can see a beautiful black and white swirl. Well, not black, brown. And I use some techniques a bit like croissants where you laminate the dough. So hopefully we're gonna get a really nice swirl, but we'll see. Today is the next day and I just finished my macarons. <gasps> so nice. They're delicious. So we already ate a couple, but it doesn't make a lot. I think maybe mine are a bit big. So I could have made a little bit more. And I also had a lot more filling left, so I think they're a bit big, but anyway, they're really good. I don't know if it happens to you, but I have like a tiny bit of my painting to finish. Well, I feel like I have more to do, but the whole paper pretty much is going to be covered and then it's just gonna be like the finishing touches. And it's I have this tiny bit, which should be super easy to do. And I'm kind of feeling blocked. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of procrastinating to be honest. I'm thinking about all of these other things that I could do instead, like, Go do one batch of laundry, go fold some clothes, go do 
whatever but i have this tiny bit to do so i want to know does it happen to you too where you're just finding yourself procrastinating you're almost done but you're still procrastinating okay so we have <laughs> this spot to do it's easy it's just like some shade and some trees but for some reason I've been delaying it, delaying it, and now is the time to do it. So I'm just going to add some colors until it's finished. Like it's easy. It doesn't even need to be precise. It's not an important part of the image. So I could just like put a bunch of colors there and not think about it and call it a day, which I think is what I'll do. Because obviously I can't. I've been thinking about this too much. So I just need to stop thinking about it. Just do anything. Okay, already it's almost finished. Okay, we're done. So I'm just gonna add a bit of water. I'm done. The result I got was not the result I expected, which is fine. <laughs> I just decided on the first color I wanted to use and then I went from there and I love it so much. Oh my God, it was so much fun to do. And I feel like this time I really made good use of the transparency of watercolor and I let what was underneath the painting shine through. So let's I'll let you have a look. I kind of want to take the time to put it on a wall and look at it from afar because I've been pretty up close and I know that since my color palette is a bit unconventional I, I'm thinking about values and I want to make sure that the values are okay but I think that they are. It's heavier on one side than on the other which that's why I'm wondering if it's a problem or not. We'll see, I'll just think about it for a little bit. I might change some things up in the future, but for now I'm happy with it. I know that I said that I would switch from this painting to my sketchbook when I wanted this to dry, but it turns out I didn't need to do that. I was able to work on this painting and I had lots of other stuff to do, like baking these little macarons. They're so good. I don't know where I just smelled it. Uh, it smells good too. They're so good. The bake went perfectly and there was a lot of new techniques for me in this bake and everything went well. So I'm very impressed. They're very good. Um, yeah, but I kind of wanted to do a quick portrait in my sketchbook 
It's been a while since I did a portrait. Well, I did a self-portrait maybe a couple of weeks ago, but I've really been into doing landscapes for the past few months. So I think that doing a portrait could be a good change, but I want to do it really quickly. I don't want to focus on details. I want to do a simpler style for portraits. I took a selfie that I'm going to use as a reference picture, but I don't aim for photorealism or I don't aim for likeness. It's just to have a picture that I can paint or draw. So I think we'll do that. But after that, this is going to be it. I'm going to go back to work for the next eight days. So I won't be able to do much for these eight days. Well, nights, I work nights. And in these eight nights, I have six 12 hour shifts, two regular eight hour shifts. So wish me luck. At least I had time to paint a lot and bake a lot. So I got it out of my system and now I can just work, make that money and then come back. <laughs> but let's have a little bit of fun still and do a portrait. That's the picture I took.
here is the portrait that I did. So as you can see, I was loosely inspired by my picture, but it's not, it doesn't look like me, which is fine. I had so much fun doing the shirt with all the lines and the fact that we can see through the shirt is just, it's just so fun. And then I had fun with the colors and I really like the fact that I did only the irises of the eyes. I feel like it adds something interesting and I like that touch of neon pink here and there. And here I struggled because there was a ceiling in the image and I thought it would be fun to add just a ceiling. But then I hated the color and then I played around with it and the paper tolerated that back and forth pretty well. There's minimal piling. So this is why I love this sketchbook. This is the Strathmore mixed media sketchbook. I think it's the series 500. So it's really good. It's quite pricey, but there's so many pages in that sketchbook and working with it is just effortless. So, but yeah, in the end, I ended up putting some acrylic ink, some white acrylic ink on top. And I think we're gonna leave it at that. I wanna do more now. I just have to say it's still not as loose as I would like it to be, but for a first try, it's pretty good. I'm satisfied. I'm done. This vlog is over. I hope that you enjoyed it, that it made you want to go and paint or draw. And if so, don't hesitate to share with me. I will see you in the next video, hopefully next week. And in the meantime, take care. I'll see you soon.